Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. I'm Uzma Nishat, Assistant Professor, Zakir Hussain College of Engineering and Technology. Today we are presenting the first lecture of this webinar series. The topic for today's lecture is Managing Anxieties Post-Lockdown, presented by Ms. Tazeen Jamal Siddiqui. Ms. Tazeen is the Managing Director of Mansha Educational Society. She is the Chairperson of India International Long-Term Economy. She is also an expert columnist at NDTV. Ms. Tazeen has won Global Nelson Mandela Dealership Award by Global Youth Parliament. She has also won the Rashtri Shiksha Ratan Award. We have a book panelist for today's lecture, Professor M.M. Sufyan Beg. He is the principal of ZFCET. Professor Ikram Khan, Department of Electronics and Engineering. Dr. Sheba Jilani, Associate Professor, Department of Chemical Engineering. Uh, Mr. Zafariyab Heather, Assistant Professor, ZSCET. And dear participants, if you have any questions during the presentation, please type them into the question box or the uh, comment box that you have in your uh, control panel of the WebEx. We'll bring them up by the end of this presentation. Now, without further delay, we will turn the time over to our speaker for today, Ms. Tazeen Jamal Siddiqui. Thank you very much. A very good afternoon to each one of you. And it's so amazing to be here with the most amazing minds of the nation. Thank you, Mrs. Thank Ma. you, ma'am. And I really thank uh, Jana Professor Sufyan Beksa for giving me this opportunity to interact with you all. Uh, because it's need of the hour, you know, when uh, there is a pandemic situation where there is lockdown. You should have someone to talk to, you know. Hear, hear each one's heart. Hear your heart. Well, in this uh, pandemic situation and this lockdown, when this lockdown is getting unlocked, there are certain anxieties. What is an anxiety? Well, it is an uncertain situation. You know, it is a fear of uncertainty that leads to an anxiety. Now, gradually, when we come out of this lockdown, there are certain complex emotions that are in our hearts and in our minds. So starting with the first one is the Korean anxiety. That is the security of our professions. Now in this career anxiety, what we think is that we feel little, you know, we are scared that will we get any job out there? I mean, how will we be welcomed uh, in this new world, absolutely new world after lockdown? So there's a lot of fear. But my friends, there is no need of any kind of anxiety or fear. Now, how do you do this? This, now to overcome this anxiety, you need to integrate your expertise area with the demand of the future. No matter what is your expertise area, but you need to integrate it with the demand of the future. Like the demand of the future is like green jobs, right? Like you say, a green career landscape, now which are environmental friendly jobs. Now, this is the demand of the future. Now, what are green jobs? According to the US Department of Labor Bureau of Labor Statistics, green jobs are either jobs in business that produce goods or provide services that benefit environment, or jobs in which workers' duties involve making the establishment production process more environmental friendly. So, whichever field you are, when you integrate it with this environmental friendly expertise, then you secure your future because then you relate to the demand of the future. My friends, renewability, sustainability, and efficiency. These three words describe the engine that will drive the economic growth in near future and decades to come. There is endless list of occupations that are readily identified as green jobs. To just name a few, uh, environmental engineers, uh, sustainable architects, or recycling engineers, and many more. So when you know that when the future demand is different with your expertise, 
then comes a thought where you integrate it with that particular demand so that your future is secure and this leads to overcome the anxiety that you have for your profession now the second thing that comes to our mind is the individual anxiety now let me take you to the journey of yourself now what is individual anxiety now this is something where everything comes to you where you think that what will happen the fear that if i say something uh, what if it goes wrong if i do something uh, don't know whether this action is right or wrong so you have anxiety all by yourself your actions your ideas your thoughts now to overcome this individual anxiety where you think that whatever you you are doing is in question mark you know you have the question mark in your mind that whatever i'm doing is right or not now this kind of anxiety you can overcome by self reflection where you understand you just write down your strength and your weaknesses once you need to understand yourself first before understanding anyone else once you understand yourself you'll be able to understand the world amazingly so to understand yourself you need to write down your strength and the weaknesses and that is and then you make the objectives of life like if this weakness i have in how many days can i overcome this this particular weakness and when you overcome this weakness gradually you will observe that a different kind of confidence will build up in you and you will be able to perform amazingly with great efficiency so it's important to first know yourself to eradicate this individual anxiety where you overcome your fears you overcome your worries you overcome everything by knowing your weaknesses and your strength no but there is no such thing as perfect person or a perfect life everyone has our ups and downs but how you channelize them in the right way makes you amazing and that's what is called channelizing heart and mind excellence so to overcome this individual anxiety you need to first know yourself your strength and your weaknesses and give a time period a set time period to each weakness that where you can actually overcome them and in what period did you overcome this uh, and this you know these weaknesses that you have written that for example it took me 2 months to get overcome this problem and another 2 months to overcome this problem and you will observe when you start uh, canceling each of your weaknesses you'll observe that you have become the best version of yourself my friends when you see the mirror the beautiful the satisfaction smile the smile of satisfaction that you get is the smile of the beautiful version of yourself each day you have to be the best version of yourself and that is possible when you first understand yourself your strength and your weaknesses and overcome them not just understand but work efficiently to overcome them and give a time period to each of your weaknesses for example if you are scared of speaking in public you are scared of uh, for example as uh, coming on stage then you need to write it down and you need to work on it like in two months i'm going to overcome this problem of mine then another two months uh, maybe i'm not able to speak properly okay so next two months i'll be doing this so you will observe that you are actually making a new and a better version of yourself each day right and this way you can overcome the individual anxiety now next comes the social anxiety so my friends social anxiety is internal and external now since internal anxiety we have overcome with the individual anxiety by knowing yourself better by overcoming your uh, weaknesses or something that uh, you need to improve on right? so when you have done that then comes social anxiety which where external factors play an important role where when you interact with someone 
you interact with that thought process that that person uh, would judge you for what you say for what you do and for what you act my friends when you're interacting a person you're interacting to just connect with them you're interacting to have an amazing relationship with them you you are interacting with them to be friends now there is no question of that thought that that other person would judge you now when you have this thought when you meet people with that purpose with that thought process that what if i speak this what would the other person do and say and judge me on that then that reduces your confidence to interact with with other people and that leads to social anxiety where you where you start feeling great alone instead of talking to anyone because you always feel that the other person would judge you which is absolutely you know there when you interact you just interact to connect you interact to make friends and that's all is the actually objective to interact with people or to connect and the social anxiety that is coming up after pandemic is that what kind of distance should i maintain should i move few steps back or should i uh, just go on to other place or am i free to move to this place can i go around and all those anxieties after lockdown my friends the places are the same they are your familiar places where you have been going since ages since decades it's the same place nothing has changed what has changed is now you have to you can go around but with certain guidelines that's all you don't need to have anxiety of how many meters you have to be away from the person when you know you can interact in amazingly warm way even by maintaining the social distance and how do you do that and how do you do that uh, i think am i able to <laughs> Am I audible? Hi, am I audible? Yes, you are. Oh, okay. I'm sorry for this uh, uh, little break. I don't know what happened. I think there was some network issues. So uh, I was talking about social anxiety, right? So it has internal and external factors. So the place where you're going is the same place where you have been going since ages. It's your familiar place. You need not worry that whether I can go around or not. You can, but with the certain guidelines, and you can have amazingly warm conversation. even by maintaining social distancing by being very soft with your great energy with your positivity with your with how soft when you become soft spoken with amazing energy then you you emit the positivity all around you and that makes the interaction amazing you can have an amazing conversation at social distancing with just three things number 1 be soft spoken as much as possible because the words that are softly spoken really connect hearts second you need to speak in the most positive manner so that all positivity when emitted it gets it gets connected to the other person and you make that person amazing and the third thing that makes the communication amazing is how you phrase your sentences in the most effective now for example if i say what is your name uh, it's good i know your name please it has a little softness and it does connect hearts when you're asking in in a very soft spoken way so you need to be very soft in your interaction and very cordial in your in your action so that uh, you can actually emit the great positivity in every heart and mind now next most important anxiety is relationship anxiety 
Well, yes. The relationship anxiety is one anxiety that we need to overcome. Now, when we say, I disagree with you, when we are talking to people, we often say, I disagree with you. But my friends, always remember, separate the viewpoint with the person. You don't disagree with the person. You disagree with that point that is raised. So be very careful when you are talking in a debate or you are discussing something. If you disagree with something, you don't disagree with that person. You disagree with that viewpoint. And the moment you start your conversation and interaction with this viewpoint that this is just my attention or my or my my uh, whatever i am disagreeing is just the viewpoint not the person you will observe that your relationship with the person you are interacting with gets amazing because you are not uh, offending the person you know the person does get offended with this you are just explaining that the viewpoint that is put forth you don't agree with that so always keep the two things separately because it's not the person it's that particular viewpoint i mean that viewpoint that you disagree with right so always remember that to that to maintain a great relationship always separate the you the two of them while interacting second when you get into an argument or you get into a fight or you anything that is uh, uh, not acceptable uh, in your way what you do is you take it personally right that he said this to me and i said this to him well now to overcome this thing you need to analyze the situation as a third person now for example if i am interacting with you right and i had a fight and an argument with you now if i analyze the situation as a third person where i when i raise myself to a, a little higher standard wherein we see, i see the situation as a third person and i consider my points as well as the other person points and i view it in an other perspective where i can see that where i went wrong or where the other person went wrong and likewise when you analyze by just raising yourself a higher standard you will realize that to uh, that you will understand the situation amazingly and find the solution for it amazingly so never ever take it personally but analyze that situation of conflict as a third person because that is a position where then you come up with justice you come up with reasoning and you come up with logic if you take it personally the first casualty is logic because you take everything personally to said to me it happened to me and all that so you it, it nothing happened to you first of all okay so what all is happening is the situation and the uh, unavoidable circumstances so to analyze that situation just raise yourself just a higher to the standard where you are and try to analyze the situation by considering both the viewpoints by considering both the people and where they went right or where you went wrong and then you come up with the right one now the third anxiety uh, that relationship anxiety that comes in where your relationship doesn't work uh, be it any relationship uh, be it student teacher relationship be it your friend be it uh, the special relationship that you have now forgiveness when i talk about forgiveness it does it, it is not just confined to sorry okay forgiveness is something that when you kind of uh, you know part ways and you go you you just choose a different way both of you the people two people in a relationship when it it, it does not work well you choose to find a different way and you uh, uh, just move on to uh, a different path each one of you but before moving before moving on and before selecting the different path do forgive each other do this favor to yourself and forgiving doesn't mean that you have forgiven and you you ought to come back to that relationship if that relationship did not work because it it affect your mental uh, health 
or it affected your mental calmness, then you need not, uh, uh, you know, uh, like continue with that relationship. But if even if you choose to go in different path, forgive each other. Now here, forgiving means you forgive and forget all those moments where you were sad, all those moments where you felt low, and all those moments where you felt hurt. When you forgive that particular relationship, that means you forgive and you forget and you delete that chapter of life and then move on to a fresh start. Life doesn't end when you choose a different path or relationship doesn't work. Okay, there are lots of things in life that you need to do and channelize it likewise. So when you head, when you like move ahead in life with this forgiveness, then this helps you to start fresh and to start with a new approach, with a new perspective of life where you know where you went wrong and where you know what made it, you know, the things that did not make it work. So that you can actually work on in the new uh, in the new way that you take up in the new path that you go ahead. So this is what forgiveness is. When you forgive, one is normal forgiveness where uh, you just have a fight and you apologize with each other and you just end up in a, and start all over again. Then there is another forgiveness where you tend to take a decision on the relationship and you decide to move on. And when you move on, you move on by forgiving. That is forgiving of the past. Never take the luggage of your past in your present or in your future. So forgive that past there and then. Delete the chapter. Start fresh with the new perspective in life. Work on your weaknesses and make it the most amazing ever witnessed. And then comes the anxiety of assumptions. Now this is a major problem here, assumptions. Even before you go for an interview, uh, we often, some of you say, Ki, Mera to nahi hoga. Mera, I mean, I cannot get into it. You know? it. It's very difficult for me to get into this. Uh, nahi ho sakta mera. And this is the assumption that we get that we, even before going to the interview, that I'll not get into it. I'll not get through it. Man. It's so tough. Now, the moment you have this assumption in your mind, ye ye nahi ho paega. Main nahi kar the first problem is that it affects your confidence. Your confidence reduces the moment you think that this can So uh, this is what is forgiveness and this is what assumption is all about. So assumption is a great threat to your confidence. I'm sorry for this break. So assumption is one thing that we need to work on, right? Now, the first and basic thing that affects is our thought process. This assumption reduces the confidence that we have. Because we have already assumed that we cannot go through it, we cannot do this. Now, when we think of this idea that we cannot do it, the first casualty is the confidence. The second casualty is the focus. And the third casualty is the memory. Now, this assumption, this anxiety of assumptions, where you assume that you cannot do this, these are the three things that get affected when you assume in the negative. The two things that are threat to your thought process are assumptions and being judgmental. These two things, assumptions and being judgmental, is a great threat to your thought process. And the first casualty because of these two words is the thought process which deviates from its track. 
it deviates from the logic from where we start off. So these are the two things that we need to avoid in life if we want to start fresh. Uh, I recently, uh, uh, you know, I was invited in one of the uh, international conference of psychiatry at Oxford. So we were talking about leadership. So I was just telling them that, you know, uh, how the childhood days affect the leadership style when they grow up. For example, if we take an example of Gandhiji, you know, there's an incident that uh, when Gandhiji's friend Uka was there and Gandhiji's uh, mother gave Gandhiji some sweets and he took the sweets and ran to his friend Uka and said, hey, come on, let's have sweets. So Uka suddenly said, oh, no, master, please don't touch me. I'm an untouchable. You cannot hug me. And immediately the response of Gandhiji was, why not? We are no different. We are the same. We can hug each other. And that was the same answer that he gave to his mom when he went back home. When his mom asked him to take a bath, he said, no, we are, we are the same. So that thought process that a child nourishes at that age of justice, love and kindness make him such a great leader. And that same goes for Nelson Mandela. Now, both of them had this, that this thought process that made them amazing leaders of justice, love and kindness. Now, contradictory to this, Adolf Hitler, very aggressive and very violent leader. Now, why was he violent? Because what he experienced. He was always brutally beaten by his father and he had this in mind. He felt very powerless. He felt very bad that he didn't have the power to do anything. And he was so intensely in need of that power that when he got the power, he related that power to being aggressive. He related that power of being, to, of being violent. And that's affected his leadership style when he grew up. So whatever your thought process is, it affects your leadership style. See, you all are the leaders of the future. And leadership, to have a great leadership, first, you need to overcome all your fears and anxieties because fear is something that always stops you to take an effective decision. You should never have fear of anything because fear always stops you to take the right decision in life and the effective decision. So always leadership is about leading with excellence, love, justice, and kindness. So is there any questions? I would love to answer them. Till here, any questions? Can everyone hear me? Am I audible? Okay, um, now I have this uh, little equation of life. Okay. Am I audible to you all? Yes, ma'am, you are very much audible. Okay, great. So I have this little equation of life that leads to transformation of heart and mind. That is vision plus perseverance plus justice and plus kindness is equal to transformation of heart and mind. When I met Dr. APJ Abul Kalam Saab, when I had a meeting with him, he told me an amazing thing that there is no such thing as impossible. And impossible itself says, I am possible. So my friends, anything that you want to do in life, you just need to have a vision, passion, perseverance, and a will to just have it with great, amazing efficiency and excellency. So is there any questions that I can answer all of you? Because I can't see them. Yes, Udma, is there any question out there? No, yes, not yet. No, not yet. I don't think any questions are there. Okay, great. So this is what 
how to be positive towards i think i just i couldn't read what is that question can you please repeat how to be positive what is the question i couldn't read the whole thing no there is no question no there was one how to be positive to someone asked me but uh, the moment i tried to read it went away uh i can you read it i am uh, but i'll just uh, uh see what the question is oh no okay there are no questions right all right how to be positive i could read but i couldn't read the rest of the part so if you can please ask me again i will try my best to answer it well so now in this leadership the first most important thing is timing now it has nothing to do how to be positive about dream okay how to be positive about dream all right see dream is something that you don't see while you sleep dream is something that you work on when you're awake and when you when the dream is in your eyes when you're awake then it automatically gives energy to be positive to have a vision and to just work amazingly to have the dream uh sorry i could i couldn't read that question can you please write it again so when you say a dream that is not okay okay welcome shinga shivangi most welcome so when you say about a dream dream is something that you see when you're awake and especially if you want to chase that dream because when you're awake it's in your eyes and you try to just get it with all your passion and perseverance right so that's how it is next question please the previous question i couldn't read if you can write it again please i'm really happy that you guys are coming up with questions i love uh, uh, sessions that are interactive yes any other questions oh i can see one i guess right question answers uh how to be positive about dreams are nearly impossible Oh, okay. Elaborate perseverance, please. All right. Uh, how to be positive about dreams which are nearly impossible? Okay. Now, as you have used the word impossible, let me tell you one. When I started my journey, and I read about multiple intelligences, there were nine multiple intelligences explored. A great scientist, right? I was just starting in my career. Now, having a dream to present a paper at Harvard, exploring fifty-four multiple intelligences, was an impossible dream for me, right? It was impossible, right? How can I explore fifty-four when there are nine explored and everyone know about it? How would I be selected? How would my research be selected there? It it was an impossible dream for me then when I started off, but because it was a dream that I wanted to achieve. when i was awake it was a dream that i wanted to work on it it was a dream that i wanted to bring it to reality the moment i started think that that way the word impossible suddenly was read as i am possible and i presented the paper at harvard university on multiple intelligences 54 where i explored 54 of them which was an impossible dream when i started off writing yes another question is there oh how sweet okay uh okay my dear i can understand few people do have a problem that they take everything personally now as i said before that uh, individual anxiety that is you tend to take everything personally see that's why i said when you're hearing something about yourself okay if someone has come and said that you know this has been said about you there there and that time it's okay you hear it don't take it personally analyze it it is said by this person under what circumstances i know we tend to just react immediately oh that person said this to me oh god that's really bad i'll not talk to that person you take it personally 
but the moment you try to understand when was it said what were the circumstances what was the mood of the person you will realize that it is not something personally it was not something that was given personally but it was something that just happened and never take negative thing personally and never ever you know like think about it negativity is something that should be like a gajini memory you should forget it you know it should be like you should never remember it anything that affects your health anything that affects your passion or anything that affects your emotional stability should never be you know should never be taken like always remembering it you should forget it at once every morning my dear is a new life every morning is a new life because when we sleep we sleep by praying that the next day when we wake up we'll have a new life now if this is true and every morning is a new life then my friend you have to make that day amazingly beautiful with your thoughts with your actions and with your belief whatever happened the day before at night is just finished the moment you slept okay the negativity gets over the moment you sleep now the morning the, the next morning is a new life so make it beautiful that okay and the the moment you start thinking this way that every morning is a new life you'll forget taking it personally all right yes next okay perseverance elaborate perseverance see perseverance is something that you don't leave in between you just keep on doing it because you want to achieve it oh thank you thank you insha that is so sweet of you okay i can read these questions oh thank you very much so right so this is what you can do so that you don't take things personally and you get likewise uh, make your life amazingly beautiful see life is too beautiful yeah don't just uh, waste it in negativity okay just try to take the positive things about your life and try to live with it because you need to live every moment you need to make every moment special and memorable and that is possible when you channelize it with your vision with your passion and with your great thought process the thought process of justice see the thought process of kindness be kind to all my friends you don't know anyone's journey of life the struggles of their lives you don't know about it. so be kind to everyone because at times when you hear a heart when you hear someone you actually calm their hearts in mind so have a here to hear the grieving heart and also have expressive heart to share so that you feel relaxed and share it with the person whom you really love and trust that that the person would not be judgmental about what you're sharing but will try to calm you down and help you out for it yes any other questions yes my friends any other questions oh uh, what if you get hurt from something someone you never imagined of hurting you okay well yes uh, Asha, uh, that's true uh, how one feel when you get hurt from someone that you have never imagined actually you know we perceive relationship in this way that when we are bonded with each other we tend to have different phases of life there's a phase of life where we were very happy everything goes amazingly good okay and everything is just too good about each other we try to sort out things when at times a phase comes where we get little you know rift between the relationship the different phases in relationship at times you are able to overcome overcome that particular thing and that particular uh, problem that you both share and at times you are unable to uh, you know uh, sort out those things and you part ways and it's perfectly fine right it's not that thinking about oh my god this person i have never imagined that he would hurt me and he had hurt me even if he did if he did that's his loss not your loss you are great you are special to yourself it's not your loss if relationship part ways and they go their own ways it's not 
your loss. Maybe it's an opportunity for you to find someone better or to find a great way ahead to make yourself a best version of yourself. So don't ever think that it's your loss. It's nobody's loss. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you. Okay, how to be mentally strong? Okay. Well, Shivangi, uh, the first thing that you need uh, that how to be mentally strong. See, one thing that give, makes you mentally strong is your thought process. Your focus and your confidence. You're mentally strong when your thought process have these amazing things. Justice, logic, kindness, and love. When you have these four things in your thought process to lead your life amazing, that makes you amazingly strong. That makes your mind amazingly strong and you lead your life with great honesty, with great passion, and with great perseverance. Thank you very much. Yes, any other questions? Yes, I can see one question more. Yeah. Oh, thank you for this, uh, for so much of love, Shiv Shivangi. Love you all. Thank you very much. Yes, any other question? I'm really enjoying this. Yes, my friends, I'm here to hear you actually. And even if you have more questions that are that you want me to answer, you can also email me uh, at for4kazwen4z -E at gmail.com. And I'm here to hear you. Uh, we have a few more minutes. You're most welcome to ask questions. Any other questions, dear? Okay, I can see one more, I guess. Uh, okay, so any other questions coming up? I'm here to answer you all because I feel when the session is interactive and you hear each heart, it becomes more amazing because then you can calm every heart. And, right? So always remember that you need to lead a life with amazing happiness because this is very special. See how there are two things. Your life makes special by your body and your soul. How you nurture your soul? You nurture your soul by being kind, by being loving, by being spiritually connected, and also by having justice. This is how you nurture your soul amazing. And how you nurture your body? You nurture your body by taking good care of your health. By, okay, I, oh, oh, yeah, sure, I'll write my email. But so how do you take care of your body? You take care of your body by having the right diet, right? By having the right thing in your, uh, that can help you stay healthy. Every part of your body is special and you need to nurture it by taking the right diet, have lots of water. So you need to nurture your body and your soul equally. And that would make you completely amazing and completely refreshed. Yes, I have a question here. Uh, let me answer this. Uh, okay, but uh, 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 it is actually affecting me. Okay. Uh, well, uh, well, my dear, as I said, don't worry about that you did you got you got into some post and then you couldn't uh, you know uh, go ahead with that because of the lockdown and crisis it's affecting you i can understand it must be affecting you but my dear just think this way opportunities that come your way that come to make you feel you are worth an amazing thing but in case they go away just think that there is more amazing thing waiting for you to come in future everything that comes your way comes for a reason and comes to give you a lesson of life it comes to make you much more stronger and to make you understand yourself and prepare yourself in a better version so that you can get much better thing in the future maybe this wasn't just the right thing Maybe you are much more amazing than what you got. And there's much more amazing thing still waiting for you. All right? So just stay happy here. And just stay positive by thinking that everything that is happening in your life 
is happening for a reason to make you stronger and to make you a better version of yourself. If you take it positively, see experiences. Uh, this is an important point, my friends. Experiences are never good and bad. They are good and bad as we perceive them to be. None of the experiences are good or bad. If we take lockdown, maybe for few it's like we are confined and a lot of negativity. But for some, they are great lessons of life. We understood the great lesson of relationship. We found our are like old friends, the school day friends that we never connected with, right? Okay, the next question, how to live in the present, then in the past or future? Okay, well, see, how you, pre how you live in your present. You remember I just told you about uh, forgiveness in relationship anxiety. Now you live in your present when you forgive your past. Forgive your past means delete that chapter, delete those things that ever made you sad, that ever made you feel low, or that ever took your mental happiness away. So when you forgive your past, you start living your present and you start decorating your future with amazing positivity and amazing excellence. Yes, next question I have. How can I develop confidence that I may get married? My friend, confidence come with that particular thought of vision that you have. If you have the vision and you want to have it with great intensity, that gives you the confidence. If you have some, some vision in life that I want to achieve this and you work on it with great energy, with great perseverance, and with great positivity, then you definitely achieve it. And that, that very thought of the vision gives you the confidence to create the great road of excellence. So always have vision because an organization or a person without vision has no purpose in life. So you should have a vision because that will give you confidence. How to enhance your vision? Okay. So my friends, you enhance your vision. First of all, you need to first identify your vision. You should not be confused in identifying your vision. Once you identify your vision, that this is my vision, and after you identify your vision, you create a road to it, right? You have that vision in life that I need to achieve this, then you make goals for it, right? You create a path with different goals that from this end to this end, this is stage one, from this end to this end is stage two. And that's how you reach to your vision with excellence. And that's how you enhance your vision with efficiency when you actually create your path with first identifying the real vision of the life. Next question, yes. Right? So this is how you do it. Uh, confidence that I negate my goal. All right. So this is how you get the confidence. Any other questions? Confidence comes with the very thought that I can and I will. And once you have the thought process that you can and you will, you lead and excel with it. Any other questions, my friends? You yeah, are most welcome to ask and the best part is I can read it. I was unable to read earlier. All right. Yes, any other questions? Well, so wonderful to be interacting with you all. And I just wish you a great life ahead, a life of positivity and happiness because uh, this journey of life that you have, nurture your body, your soul with excellence because this is a precious gift of God and you need to nurture it amazingly to become a great human being in life. When you become a great human being with these two things, you get everything in the world. How can we ignore the negativity? Okay, the next question. Well, as I said, you can ignore the negativities by thinking all the great things that happened in your life. Just try to remember all the great things that happened in your life. 
that will bring a beautiful smile on your face. Because all the great things when you remember that happened in your life are much more in amazing than the negativity. Because just think, how can a person just take something that harm you? See, you are grown up enough to understand why to take things that harm us. Negativity harm our hearts and minds. Negativity affects our thought process. And we know that. When we know something is harmful for us, we should just avoid it and take in positivity so that we can lead life with amazing happiness, excellence, and a new journey wherein we can create path to follow our dream and take it. Yes, give the situation. How can one be positive? Okay. Now, a situation how one can be positive. I will give you an example you want. I'll give you an example of uh, this lockdown. Okay? Now, how can you be positive in this lockdown? You can be positive in this lockdown where you can share your heart to your friends. You can find your great friends and interact with them, talk to them. You can live your passion that you couldn't do for these many years. You can actually enjoy that passion because of the schedule that you have, because of the studies, you did not get time. Now you got the time. Live and live your passion. Enjoy it. And this will make you amazing. This will make you feel amazing. And this is an example, a great example, that how you stay positive in a negative situation, a situation of lockdown. At times you get, you have so many opportunities you have an opportunity to follow your passion. You have an opportunity to enhance your learning. Go for skill learning. Go for online learning. Increase your knowledge. Increase your knowledge. Integrate your career with different skills. The online skills, the online knowledge that you're getting. So these are the things that can make you stay positive in a negative situation. Right? Anything else? Any other questions? so amazing to interact man yes any other questions okay we have i guess five five more minutes to go if you have any questions you're most welcome to ask oh you're most welcome thank you very much yes uh so i hope i've uh, oh yes i've answered all the questions in here okay great so this is what is uh, the lesson of life that we need to learn that God has made our life very amazing by giving us this body and soul and it's our responsibility till the last breath of our life. Most welcome Noor, thank you very much. And this is our responsibility to nurture our body and soul till the end of our life in the best version of itself ever. Each day, just see yourself as an amazing you, a unique you, and a special you. Yes, any other questions or? Yes. Yes, thank you very much. So is there any other questions or shall we wind up the session? Okay, I think I've answered all. I don't see any more, any more questions here. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I've answered all. So anything else you all want to know that I can help you in? So this is the time, my friends. Do uh, go for great learning and integrating your expertise area. It's very important nowadays. And keep smiling. It's most important. Because just a smile uh, that you give to the other person makes their life amazing as well. Yes, I think we are done with the, the questions here. So uh, can I have uh, Ms. Ozma back here? Yes, thank you, Dr. Tazeen, for taking out time from your busy schedule and for that perfectly describing the way to control the automatic negative thoughts. Thank you very much. Thank this you. Is yeah, and this would have not been possible without the support and amazing dedication of our organizing team. 
and thanks again everybody thank you very much it's a pleasure i just write down my email and ask him to Okay, uh, I cannot send uh, this uh, my email. How can I send them? Because I can see in the question and question answers, uh, they are as they are asking me to send uh, my email address. But I have written it. But I'm and how can I send them? I think on chat it it should be able. Uh, actually, I just. Uh, i just wrote my email but the, the send option is not activated i'm writing my email but the send option is not so i'm unable to send ma'am please check my message you can write uh, the email in my chat and i'll share with the students okay how do i do that uh, oh, okay in the uh, oh, okay uh, all right Uh, okay i'll send you all right okay. i'm just sending you uh, and you can share it with the uh, with uh, i hope you got it Uh, did you get it sir i just have to send it yes ma'am we have got it it's f o r t a z e l e n at the rate gmail dot com perfect thank you very much sir for that thank you yes, ma'am you're welcome and thank you ma'am that was a wonderful lecture so we would be winding up now Thank you so yes, much, ma'am, for sparing the uh, precious time with us. Oh, most welcome, dear. Thank you, everyone. It was great interacting with you all. God bless you all, and just stay happy. Thank you. Take good care. Thank you.